Hi everybody, this is Sir Pierre. This is not an, un an, an unboxing or a review. I was supposed to do that, but it didn't go so well. I bought a new TV that I've had some issue with. Let me show you. There is one thing that I really don't like. I, I only have OLED TV, LG OLED TV, that, did, that is much, much better. And I can see the leaking of the light in the corners, but I think this one is a bit too much. So I'll try to see if I can find it in a better way. I have lowered the backlight contrast and this is what it looked like when it's supposed to be black. This is a black screen. As black as it will get. And the backlight contrast were like 85%. I don't know what it is now, but it, it is lower. And you see all that light coming from just everywhere on the TV. This is as low as the backlight contrast go. You can still see all the lights shining in and that upper right corner is just terrible. So I think my TV is broken actually. Here is another problem that has happened to me twice now. Uh, the TV won't turn on. And yes, the power is on. I haven't done anything since I watched TV la the last time. And even when I press the button on the neat, hold it in for a long time, nothing at all happens. So the TV doesn't want to turn on. So that's another problem. The only way to get a TV to start when it does like that is to unplug it, let it be for a couple of minutes and then plug it in again. And I have done this and this is the second time I've said, so I hope, I really hope that I doesn't have to reinstall and fix everything again. A uh, full month has passed now since I got my TV home and uh, called and said that it was broken. And it has not got better at all, even worse. So every time I want to watch TV, I have to unplug the plug. Let it be without power for like a minute, plug it in again, and then the TV works. But we still have the uh, light leak in the corners. I have texted uh, or sent mail to the company where I bought it from six times during this month. I have contacted Philips three times, and the company that I was supposed to repair it, I have contacted like eight times without any replies. Uh, today they called me and said that they have a time next week and they asked me if I can carry the, the TV down from the wall with the repairman. And since I have broken discs in my back, I said, no, I can't. And the woman that called me got sort of pissed and said that uh, it's a 75 inch TV. We can't carry that ourselves. And I said, yeah, but you have had a full month to plan this. And she said, no, it has only been 30 days. It's uh, January 13 today. I uh, contacted them the first time, December 14, so 30 days. Just an update, uh, I checked my mail. It wasn't uh, December 14, it was December 10 that I contacted them the first time, or actually nine the night, uh, but I got a reply from them uh, the morning, the 11th, so I I sent them a mail the night at the 10, I guess. Or at least that weekend. So not the 14th, the 10th. Uh, so I just said, no, I can't carry the, the, the TV down from the wall. You need to contact me again. So a full month and they contacted me and are rude to me. Nice one. And now the unplug and plug it in trick uh, doesn't work. I've tried everything now and the TV won't start at all. Good job, Philips. Your most expensive TV and the one TV. Crap, totally crap. I just spent 36 minutes with uh, Webhallen uh, on the phone the place where I bought the TV from. 
uh, I know that they are it's not their fault of course but I still wanted to uh, make myself heard and they tell me that since I don't have the box left I can't ship it back which they have already told me of course but I told them that they could order new uh, a new box or send me a new TV and I will send my old broken TV back with the new box but no they couldn't do that either um, I told them like two weeks ago that I want to um, get my money back I didn't want a new TV I just want my money back and that's that that's when they said about uh, the box which the company that are supposed to repair the TV said that I could throw away the box and uh, then they tell me at Webhallen that uh, it has passed too many days now so I can't get my money back uh, first they wanted to tell me that they count one month from when I uh, place the order and I tell them that I got my TV I think three weeks or even more after I placed the order because even though it said that it was in stock they were like 28 28 days behind on their order on their orders uh, so i got my tv at least three weeks maybe a month after i bought it and when i bought it i um, told them right away then he went away came back and he said but but the tv got delivered uh, december 9 and today is december 13 and i said no that is not true because the post uh, delivery, <laughs> as usual, they claimed that they couldn't deliver the TV because they didn't have uh, a, a door code. And here is, there is no door code here. You just press my name and you will get in. Uh, so the TV got delivered the, the 12th. And then he tells me, as I said, once again, it's the 13th today. He said, but even if it, if it was delivered the 12th, a month has passed so you are out of the range of getting your money back so uh, thanks for that one Bebhalen. the two repairmen from let me repair were just here and they did not have any spare parts they came here to uh, do a diagnostic of the TV that won't start so I've been waiting for over five weeks for them to come here and don't have any parts with them. I called Philips right away and they say that they can't do anything uh, except from ordering parts that they should have done for several weeks ago. And they told me to um, complain to Web Highland where I bought the TV and Web Highland told me last week that they can't take the TV because I don't have any box. And now that it has passed over a month, they can't do anything about it at all. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed about this. I just called Webhallen again. And they told me the same thing. They are going to see if they can fix a box so I can ship the TV back to them so they can... Uh, do a diagnostic of a TV that doesn't start and then they will make a decision They will not give me a new TV. They will not give me my money back uh, And they will not give me my money back because it have taken them over a month to uh, Yeah, they want to blame me because it has taken a month uh, And I told them that they told me uh, 10 days ago that they were going to see if they can get a box so I can ship it back and I have talked to them Twice or three times since then and they have told me the same They are going to see if they can get me a box so I can ship it back to them Still no answer about that This is so bad both from Webhallen uh, Let me repair that was supposed to repair it and Philips that doesn't care about the customers at all so in conclusion, that is how things work in Sweden. I buy a new TV that are not fully functioning directly when I get it. 
I send a mail right away on the night uh, about the errors to Webhallen and Philips right away. Uh, I called them the, the first working day after that. I think it was the day after, I don't remember. And Webhallen where I bought the TV, say that I should contact uh, Philips that have made a TV. And uh, Philips that have made a TV are sending me to let me repair. And let me, let me repair have just been really bad in, in, in every way. They don't answer my mails. Uh, they took a very long time and they get there without any spare parts. So, and now, now nobody cares. Let me repair tells me that I should put a pressure on Philips. Philips say that they don't care at all. I should talk to let me repair and Webhallen doesn't care at all. So this is how it works in Sweden. 